This is Guitar Joe, an electric guitar accessory that allows you to emulate the sound of a banjo with your guitar. In this video, we'll go over the steps to set it up and use it. It's best to lay your guitar flat on your lap or on a table so you can get an overhead view when mounting Guitar Joe. With the side screw loosened, slide the foot of the mounting base underneath the strings, making sure each dampener roughly lines up with the corresponding string. Press down so that the microsuction material underneath the mounting base holds to the body of the guitar. Now that it's mounted, make sure the dampeners perfectly line up with the strings. Then tighten the side screw so that it stays in place. You can position the mounting base other ways as well based on where space is available on your guitar. However, it should be positioned more towards the neck than the bridge to get the optimal banjo sound. Note that if your guitar strings are significantly farther away from the body than most guitars, you have the option of raising the main body higher. If possible, it's better to have the main body rest on the ledge of the mounting base so that if you take it off your guitar or swivel it out of the way, it will be easier to place it back on and be ready to play without having to make more adjustments. Use the adjusters to raise or lower the dampeners so that they gently touch each string. The more you apply pressure, the more it will mute the strings. So it's important that you take the time to get an even balance between twang and sustain. This D note is actually the lowest note on a banjo so the A and the E strings will have a bit of a different sound to it, which can be interesting to experiment with. Listen to this example. This guitarist utilized the lower strings in the beginning to add a unique sound to the blues riff he's playing. Keep in mind that the higher you go on the fretboard, the more the strings will pull away from the dampeners and produce less twang. Therefore, you should decide which span of frets you'll be playing on so you can base your adjustments on that. In this case, we just made adjustments so that we'd get the most ideal banjo sound on the first seven frets. Since the pickups on your guitar produce different tones, try out each pickup to find the best sound. of the middle and neck pickups had a good sound to it, so let's go with that. Ultimately, there's no right sound, so choose what you think sounds best. Be sure to play around with the EQ as well to maximize the sound. If you're noticing any high-pitched harmonics when you let certain notes ring out, try lowering the treble on your amp a bit. If you're recording or have a multiband EQ foot pedal, you can more precisely target and reduce any unwanted frequencies without having to turn down the overall treble. If the microsuction gets dirty and doesn't stick to your guitar as well as it used to, take a clean damp cloth and wipe off any dust or particles. Wipe it down again with a dry area to remove any wetness. Depending on how damp the cloth is, water may seep into the microscopic air pockets in the microsuction material, making it less sticky. In this case, let it dry for a while. Lastly, make sure you put the mounting base cover on the bottom when not in use so that the microsuction doesn't collect dust. If you need more information, please visit guitarjo.com. <laughs>